We have received several requests to create a tutorial on videos like this one, which shows various world data. These are quite popular these days across the globe. So in this tutorial, we have discussed how to create 3D comparison videos for world statistics in Blender. Let us start with a blank new file. We need to change the height of this default cube, based on the data that we want to represent. So let's say, we change its height to 2.5. We need to also change the Z location to the same 2.5. This will place the cube perfectly on the ground plane. And it should look like a pillar, or a post, so we need to reduce its depth. Let us change the Y scale to 0.7. Now we'll make some duplicate copies of this pillar and place them in a straight line. We need to maintain a fixed gap between each pair of the pillars. Here we are going with three pillars, but you can add more if you need. The height of these pillars will depend on your data. For this one, let us say the height is 2.1. The Z location also has to be the same. And for the third cube, maybe we can use 3 for the height, and then the same also for the Z location. Now we'll add some bevel, or a rounding effect for the edges. So go to the object menu, and apply the scale factors. Then go to the modifiers tab, and add a bevel modifier. The amount can be 0.1, but change the number of segments, maybe to 5. We need to add the same bevel, for the other two, so select them together with the shift key. Let us apply their scale factors like before. While they are still selected, press the shift key again, and then select this middle one. Then from this drop down, click on copy to selected. So the bevel effect will be added to all of them. As they are selected together, go to the object menu, and apply the shade smooth option. So we have got three pillars ready for the scene. Next we need to add some materials for these pillars. So select this pillar or the post and turn on the rendered view mode. Then in the materials tab, we can see a default material added by Blender. Let's change this base color to a dark color. And we'll also change the metallic value to 0.5. You can add any material or texture for them, doesn't matter. Next we'll add some text on this pillar. So hide this pillar for the time being, and add a text field from the add menu. We need to make it upright. So in the object properties, change the X rotation angle to 90 degrees. Let us then go to the edit mode. Delete this text with backspace and enter whatever data you want to show here. Let us go with the size of the economy for this country. Once done, we have to go back to the object mode. Then go to this text tab and expand this font section. We can change the font from this place. Or you can change the font size from here. Then in this alignment section, we have to change the horizontal and the vertical alignment to center. And let's change the line spacing to 0.7. Then bring back our pillar or the post. We need to position this text correctly, so pull it up like this. Then, bring it to the front of the pillar. There has to be a gap between the two. It need not be perfect, just ensure that it is slightly away from the pillar. Then go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier called Shrink Wrap. In the Target object, we have to select this post. Then change this offset value to 0.01. Now you'll see that the text is nicely attached to the post. In the similar way, you need to add the other data points as well. In the next step, let us add a waving flag for this country. So go to the Add menu, and add a cylinder. We need to reduce its diameter. So change these two scale factors to 0.05, and increase the Z scale to 2.5. This will work as the flag host, so pull it up and position it, as you may like. Perfect! Now we'll add the actual flag. So we need to add a simple plane. And it has to be vertical, so change this angle to 90 degrees, and also change the X scale factor to 1.5. We have to position the flag as per our flag host. The flag should just touch the host on the left side. There has to be slight overlap between the two. Then match their top ends. Now, let us go to the edit mode. We can hide the cylinder for now. Then pick up the loop cut tool and add some loop cuts. We have discussed how to create a realistic flag in another tutorial with detailed steps. You can check the tutorial link below from the video description. Now deselect everything and select only these vertices on the left side end of the flag. Then in the Object Data Properties tab, 
create a new vertex group, and assign the selected vertices. We can now go back to the object mode and bring back our cylinder. While the flag is selected, let us go to the physics tab and enable the cloth physics. We'll go with the default options for this physics, but expand the shape section, and then in this pin group, we have to select the vertex group that we have just created. And under collisions, we have to enable the option called self collisions. Let us then enable the shade smooth option as well. We will apply some flag texture for this cloth object. So go to the materials tab and create a new material. In the base color, we have to select image texture. Then click on open and open the flag picture that you want to attach to this. So we've got a nice flag added here at the top of the post for India. But to convert it into a waving flag, we also need a force field in our scene. So go to the add menu and under force field, let's add a wind force. We need to rotate it by 90 degrees to turn it into a horizontal force. Then in the physics tab, we have to increase its strength to a very high value like 10,000. Finally, we've got everything ready for one post, let us run it and verify. We can see a waving flag for India, and we want to copy this whole thing for the other two countries as well. So stop this and go to the first frame. Now select the flag and the flag host and duplicate them. Then place them on the first post. We will repeat the same thing for the other post as well. Later we need to replace these flags with the correct ones. So select this flag and go to the materials tab. We have to first click on this copy button so that we get a second material. Now we can select the second flag. Then for the other flag, we need to copy it to a third material. Then attach the UK flag here. All the three flags are now ready for action. Let us run the simulation. So the flags are waving and the basic things are covered. We can now add more such pillars in an increasing order, and we'll get something like this. Here, we have added 10 pillars representing 10 different countries, and we have also baked the cloth physics for all the flags. We'll now add a floor into the scene, and we'll darken the environment for a better result like this. We have the top 10 GDPs in the world, and the top two are really tall. It looks nice, but the other important thing is to set up our camera appropriately, so let us unhide the camera. The camera is right here, and we want to bring it in front of the first country, or the first pillar. We'll keep it very simple, and basic, for this tutorial. Let's go to the add menu and add an empty, for the purpose of camera tracking. Then move this empty also to the first pillar. Now select the camera, and go to the object constraint tab. Here we have to add a track to constraint. And in the target object, we have to select the empty. Now press 1 on the number pad to go to the front view mode. We can easily move our camera or the empty in this view. Let us verify it through the camera view mode. If required, we can adjust the camera angle by moving our empty like this. This is going to be our initial condition, so let us go to the first frame and keyframe the location values for the empty and also for the camera. Press I on your keyboard while the mouse is here and a keyframe will be added for these values. Now go to the last frame, and back to the front view mode, let us bring our camera closer to this last pillar. And we need to also move our empty to the target position. So let us place it right on this pillar. We can also verify it through the camera view. And don't forget to insert the keyframes for the empty, as well as for the camera. But the camera path has a steep curve in this area, so we should insert another keyframe around this pillar. Let us take frame number 200 for this, and we'll bring the camera somewhere near this area. If you need more advanced control, you can check our tutorials on camera movement linked below. Here we need to add the keyframes as usual for these objects. Now we can render the scene and verify the final result. You can add some special effects or enrich it with more physics, it is all up to you. We just covered the basic setup to create your first animation on world statistics. I hope you like this presentation, and if you need this blend file, you can join our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back next week with another such tutorial for our viewers.